Get ready, because today, tickets to the 2014 NCAA Track and Field Championships at Hayward Field are on sale. 12,000 spectators expected each day one of many track and field events in Eugene. You can definitely say that Track Town USA is building momentum and leading the cause and leading the charge. Vin Lanana, president of Track Town USA. This is a big day for you. Many months in planning, it's here today. We just got to know, how are you feeling? It's pretty exciting. I mean, you know, we have probably, we're, ter we're terming this the best track and field season ever in this community. That's a big thing to say in this community. Now, when you came to Eugene, when was that? When was that? 2005. So, so you've not been here that long. We have to ask, you know, you must have had a lot of goals. Was hosting the NCAA track and field championships on that list, or where was it on the list? Well, hosting the outdoor track and field championships, and we've hosted it before, but the thing that's been really exciting now is we have it till 2021. That's the real exciting thing, and that will be an opportunity for this community to grow the event. Definitely. 12,000 spectators expected every single day. Down the road, do you think that more people are going to be coming in just to be a part of the magic? Well, we hope so. We think that uh, Eugene and Hayward Field is very attractive to the, the broader community, and we believe that once people construct a plan on the event for a number of years, it'll be a place that people are going to visit okay. every year. Well, if you haven't been to, to, to Hayward Field, people say it's magical. I want to take a live look right now at Hayward Field. What is it? We hear athletes say that there's something about the field, there's something about the city of Eugene. If you could put into words, what is it that makes it so special? I think it's the spectators. I think it's the spectators, it's the community. When you go into a hotel or you show up at the airport or you're in a restaurant, people know what you've done. They're excited about it. They've done the research and they appreciate track and field. And whether you're a duck or whether you're a gator from the University of Florida or Texas A&M, people really respect a great performance. One of many events, as you're saying, this is the year. Right, Let's right. talk about the other events that you have to be excited about, thrilled about. Well, the World Junior Championships are here. This is the first time it's ever been in the United States, and that's going to be very exciting. 212 countries from all over the world, people, kids below the age of 20, world-class athletes, July 22nd to the 27th, fabulous. Right. Also coming up. Well, we've got the 14 NCAAs, we've got the IAAF Junior Championships, we've got the U.S. Championships in 15, we have the Olympic Trials in 16, and in Portland, we have the World Indoor Championships. Obviously, you think big. Tell us about another goal for Track Town USA after seeing that list. What else could we put on there? Well, certainly the long-term possibilities would be for us to be able to host the World IAAF Championships in the state of Oregon. Eugene for the World Juniors, Portland for the Indoor, and who knows, the state of Oregon for the World Championships. So is it going to happen? We'll see. We're, uh, timeline's getting pretty pretty crunchy. It's 2019 or 21. Stand by. All right. All right. Wishing you luck. Well, I also want to let our viewers know that we're going to be giving away tickets to the 2014 NCAA Track and Field Championships all next week on KEZI 9 News this morning at 6 o'clock.